Hello everyone, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are adding and subtracting percent and decimals. It's a little bit complicated, but we will get through it, and I know you will be able to do it by the end of this quick lesson. Let's do it. First off, we will look at what those questions mean when they're written in that way, because it's a little bit odd to write things in the way that we saw that question on the intro screen. Then we'll solve them, and in the end, I'm going to show you a shortcut that I always use, and it's a lot quicker and easier, and you'll see. But first, you have to understand what it is before this shortcut can be helpful. So let's do this. First off, 14 plus 5 percent, what does that mean? It does not mean, well, let's talk about what it does not mean. It does not mean 14 plus, and then you convert that 5% into a decimal, 0 0.05, and you just add those numbers. And that's why this type of question is a little bit more confusing. What it does mean is 14 plus 5% of 14. All right? And that's important because that 5% doesn't specifically say, oh, it's 5% of 14. So the way this question is written is actually something I don't like. But I wanted to show you and explain it to you because you will see questions like this in the future. As much as I don't like them, it's the world we live in, and I want you to be able to solve them. So that what that means, 14 plus 5% of 14. So the way we could write this is 14 plus, and I put inside those grouping symbols, 5%, which is 0 0.05 times 14. That's 5% 4, of 14. Remember that of is multiplication. We can solve that 5% of 14 is 0 0.7. And then we can add those 14 plus 0 0.07, and that gives us 14.7. So that's quite a bit of work there, but it will help if we understand how to do it. Now let's look at one more. Subtraction. 18 minus 8%. Again, this means 18 take away 8% of 18. So we're going to have to calculate what's 8% of 18. And you see that in this step, 0 0.08 times 18. That's 8% 8 of 18, which gives us 1.144. 1 uh, and we'll add, subtract those. I was about to say add. We subtract those. So 18 minus 1.44 leaves us with 16.56. In all of these questions today, I should let you know now, I will be rounding to two decimal places. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some that are a little bit harder and give you an opportunity to practice them. These ones here shouldn't be too much more difficult than what you've seen in the previous questions, but um, they have some extra decimals and stuff to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and let you have a second to look at that, try it out, and then continue the recording and I'll kind of walk through each of these questions. All right, let's go. 20 minus 10% of 20. 10% is 0 0.1 times 20, or which gives us 2. And 20 minus 2 is 18. So that's how we would solve this first question. That one actually wasn't quite as bad. Let's go over to this one where we have 11.3 plus 12%. Again, remember that's 12% of 11.3. So it's going to look like this, a little bit more complicated of an expression. 11.3 plus 0 0.12 times 11.3, or 12% of 11.3. First we calculate what's inside the parentheses, and we'll get 1.356. Then we add those two together, and like I said, I am rounding up to two decimal places. This would technically be 12.656, um, uh, I believe. But we're going to round it up to um, two decimal places for our final answer. All right. Here's two more. I want you to try them on your own. I have smaller percentages just so that you can get used to putting those extra zeros in there. I want you to try these out. Three, two, one, go. Now, many of you didn't even pause the video. You didn't even try. Come on, guys. You can do this. 
All right, let's work through them. We've got 15 plus 7% 7 of 15. In other words, 15 plus 1.05. And that gives us 16.05. We'll have 42.3 minus 4% of 42.3. Figure out the percentage. We get 42.3 minus 1.692. And we'll simplify that down to 40.61. Again, I'm rounding the decimal. So there we go. Now, if you remember these numbers, then they will help you on the next thing that we're going to do, which is moving into our shortcut. Hey, look, the same 15 plus 7%. We should get the same answer when we do this the shortcut way. I'm just, I'm just letting you know that. See? All right. So the shortcut is to calculate the percentage first. So 15 plus 7 percent. This means 107 percent of 15. Let me explain that using the math I've shown here. 15 is 100 percent of 15. 7 percent is 7 percent of 15. So together it's 100 percent plus 7 percent which gives you 107 percent. So you do have to do that, that piece of addition first, 107%, but then it just becomes a really easy question. 107% of 15 is 15 times 1.07. And then it solves really quickly. You get 16.05. Again, remember, that's the same answer we got doing it the other way. So we can know that our work is correct. We've solved it in two different ways. But this way just kind of simplifies the steps a little bit. Let's do it with this one, um, subtraction and 42.3. Remember, the way we're calculating this is to first calculate the percentage. Okay, The percentage is 96% of 42.3. And this is where we got that 96 from. We took 100% and we subtracted 4% to give us 96%. So in the end, instead of saying we're going to take 42, 100% of 42.3 and we're going to subtract 4% of 42.3, instead we subtract up front and get our 96% and that's going to be our answer. So we'll write it out, 42.3 times 96% and that gives us our answer 40.61. Again, I did round it to two decimal places just like I did on the previous slide, but you could use this shortcut to check every single question we've done today and you'll find it works every single time. I know because I did it. I, I double check my work. All right. Now it's your turn. I want you to use the shortcut to try these ones out. You don't have to use a shortcut. You could use a longer way, but I'm going to explain the answers using the shortcut in just a couple of seconds. But first, pause the video, do a little bit of work on your own, and then come back and we'll look through them. Hey, welcome back. I'm going to solve using the shortcut. So 17.6 minus 13% of 17.6 will be 87% of 17.6. So I'm just going to multiply them and get my final answer of 15.31. 15.31 is 87% of 17.6. Look over here with my addition question, 15.2 plus 26%. That would be 126% of 15.2. So we multiply them. And we get our final answer, 19.15. Again, I did round all answers to two decimal places um, for convenience of writing them. There you go. That is your final questions. A couple things to remember. 14 minus 12%, that means 14 minus 12% of 14. Okay, that's the most common place people get confused or um, make mistakes on this. The next thing is to remember to practice. I would practice using that first method several times before jumping into our shortcut, but the shortcut will always work. Um, it's just good to know what it actually means and what it's doing. So use the shortcut of subtracting or adding the percentages first. I hope that that was helpful for you, and as always, have a wonderful day.